Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're gonna to be making this super easy multicolored beanie. For this project, I'm gonna be using size four medium weight acrylic yarn. And I'm just gathering up all the scrap yarn that I have lying around for my previous videos. And as long as you're using yarn that is the same size, weight, brand, or type, it should look great and you should be able to complete this project with any brand of yarn. I'll also be using a size F or 5 crochet hook. And we're going to begin this project with a magic circle and we're going to place 12 double crochets inside of it. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to want to place a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, but you're going to want to yarn over with your next color. And rather than working in the top of these stitches, what we're going to be doing is placing our stitches in between our posts right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two double crochets in between each of our stitches. So go ahead and place two double crochets in between each of your stitches and when you get to the end of your row, you should have 24 stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to want to place those last two double crochets up underneath this slip stitch right here. And from here, we're just going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first stitch and we're going to yarn over with our next color. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one double crochet between the first and the second stitch and then two double crochets between the second and the third stitch. And you're just going to repeat that alternating pattern going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have 36 stitches. And again, just make sure you place your last two stitches up underneath that slip stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first stitch, yarning over with our next color again. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one double crochet in between your first and your second stitch and your second and your third stitch. And then you're going to place two double crochets between your third and your fourth stitch. And you're just going to repeat that going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have 48 stitches. And again, your last two stitches should go up underneath that slip stitch. And then you should yarn over with your next color when you place your slip stitch in your first stitch here. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one double crochet in between your first three stitches here. And then you're going to place two double crochets in between your fourth and your fifth stitch. And you're just going to want to repeat that going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have 60 stitches. And again, you're going to want to place your last two stitches up underneath that slip stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, but you're going to yarn over with your next color. And that was our last row of increasing. So from here, all you're going to want to do is place one double crochet in between each stitch in your row. And then you're going to make sure that you place that last double crochet up underneath the slip stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and yarn over with your next color. And we're just going to repeat that over and over and over again to build the body of our beanie. I went ahead and placed nine rows of following that same pattern of placing one double crochet in between each of my stitches. And I went ahead and switched over to the color that I want to place for my brim. And I just did that the same way by placing a slip stitch in my first stitch and just yarning over with my next color here. So from here, all you're gonna wanna do is place one single crochet in each stitch in your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip that slip stitch and you're going to dive right into your first stitch and you're going to start placing your single crochet stitches again. And so from here, we're going to be following a continuous loop pattern, which means we won't be starting and stopping each individual row, but instead it's going to be more like a spiral. So just go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch in each row to make up the brim of your beanie. I went ahead and crocheted seven rows of placing one single crochet in each stitch in my row. From here, I'm just going to place a slip stitch in my next 10 or so stitches. And once you have your 10 slip stitches in place, we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I like to weave my tail in the direction that I was crocheting for a few stitches and then up the inside of the beanie. And when it comes to your seam on the side over here, what you're going to want to do is tie these edges together. 
And you can tie light colors together, but it's important to work from the brim up to the top. And in the description, I will link to my DIY pom-pom maker. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.